Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, then welcome to the channel. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of a Harley Benton Telly, uh, which has been requested for quite a while now, and I've now got that. I'm going to build it, we're going to review it, we're going to see what it's like, all the ins and outs, all the nitty-gritties, all the usual stuff. You're building a telly? I didn't know Harley Benton's made TVs. Does that mean I can watch Netflix in here when you're not here? That'd be good, wouldn't it? No, Freddie, a Telecaster guitar kit. Oh, right you are, I see. Oh, stupid me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, I've got it set up in the workshop. So let's get in there. Right, yeah, so here it is. Ooh, Harley Benton box. So I'll do a quick unboxing. I'll make it quick and painless. And we can inspect what's in here. Usual cartoon. The instructions, if you want them in different languages. Get rid of those. Here's the body. So this is a Telecaster. Uh, I'll go through the specs in a minute when we're in the uh, studio doing the sound test. I say in a minute, it'll be a while yet. Uh, this is the body, and it looks pretty decent. It feels really smooth. A um, lot better than the Strat ones I've had in the past. Got a little ding in it there, but that's not too bad. Um, but overall, pretty good. It's a three piece by well, the looks of it, and obviously lots of pieces, but that's okay. Uh, neck pocket looks pretty decent, routing looks pretty decent. It's not too bad at all. Um, quite like that. In here, we have said neck. Um, I was really impressed with the strat neck. Uh, both the strat necks I had. Um, so I'm hoping this is just as good. Uh, we've got a big paddle. Uh, so we can cut our own design out, which is quite nice. It's a uh, maple, I believe. I'm not sure what the fretboard is, but we'll find out. Looks pretty nice. Nice grain. All the holes cut out for you. All looks very neat. Fret ends feel okay. Uh, frets look sort of lightly polished, but I'll do that. I'll, I'll polish them up a lot better than that and probably round the edges off slightly. Uh, nut looks nice as well. Looks well cut. As I say, every Harley Benton kit I've had so far, the necks have been outstanding. And this doesn't look to be any different. Okay, this little box will be all the hardware. So we've got in bag number one some strings, which would be okay for the initial setup. Screws, obviously neck screws and all the screws that you need. Uh, we've got the electronics, um, which you know is all functional, all okay. Uh, you've got a solderless plug, solderless kit, and the only bit I will have to solder is the earth. Um, but it looks pretty standard stuff, entry level, but all functional, I'm sure. Feels good, feels just fine. Uh, in here, we have the bridge with some Japanese, or Chinese rather. A Chinese ticket on there. The tick on it. If anybody can read Chinese, or was it Mandarin? What's that say? Okay. And we've got the pickup. Which all looks okay, it looks pretty decent. Um for the money, you know. Um obviously we've got the scratch plate here, which is loaded. with a solderless connector and Telecaster pickup yeah with a scratch plate three ply and one two three four five six seven eight screw not too bad and we've got it crappy lead I've got a collection of crappy leads now <laughs> but they do come in handy weirdly and your Allen key truss rod 
and all that. I've got a collection of those now too. And in here we've got the tuners, which are standard Harley Benton or Chinese. You find these on lots of guitars. Actually feels quite nice and tight. They feel pretty good. The, the tuners are getting better, I've noticed. Um, I know that it's something that people complain about the most is how bad the tuners are. But they actually feel quite nice. I'm quite looking forward to uh, trying those. And in here, finally, you've got the back plate and you've got the jack plate. There doesn't seem to be a plastic um, spacer that you often get uh, under the neck plate, but that's okay. I sometimes prefer not to put them in, so I don't know whether that's missing. If that's supposed to be in there, but usually you get a plastic, uh, yeah, thing with that. But um, anyway, there you go. The build on these things, you can usually build them really quickly. I mean, you can build it within half an hour. Um, the setup all depends on lots of things and whether it all goes back together properly, whether the frets are level, and all those kind of things. But the actual build of it, they're very very quick. Um, so I'm going to whop this together. I'm going to whip it and whop it back together. Um, and make a guitar out of it and then we'll do a sound test and give you give you my first impressions first things I always do is check the neck into the body and that feels really good and we give it an inspection make sure it's all flush and it does meet the guitar really well there's no issues with that at all it's really well cut and this part of the neck fits snugly up against the body which is always good for your sustain right so that's really cool happy with that so i'm going to put all the hardware on here we'll put the neck on last etc so this might go a little bit quick for you <laughs> Right, you are, it was about 30 minutes to build it. Um, everything went together like a dream. That's the one good thing about these kits is uh, they do bolt together really, really well. Um, so 10 out of 10 for that. Um, I haven't cut these string ends off yet because I'm gonna be taking it all off apart again uh, anyway. But, so this is how it looks as it is out the box. I haven't done anything to it. The body is really nice, really, really good. Um, 
and it resonates really, really well. I've only done a, a, a quick setup on it. Truss rod feels and looks to be pretty bang on. Uh, so I'm not really worried about that at all. Um, I just did a quick, you know, action thing. I haven't done the intonation or anything like that, just to get a feel of it. And it, it feels quite nice. Frets are a bit scratchy, but that's okay. We're gonna polish them up anyway. It's not a big deal to do something like that. Neck feels really comfortable. It's a nice seat. The necks always impress me with these, with Harley Bentons. Um, I've had a few of these kits now and they're really, really good. Um, I quite like the paddle shape. I might keep it like that, you know. <laughs> I quite like it, as it is. Um, not sure yet what I'm gonna do with it, but let's do some sounds. For me, uh, the pickups sound pretty nice actually, um, much better than the Encore pickups which you can see a review of here. Um, the overall guitar itself feels really good quality for the money, I think, I'm not sure the price but there'll be a link in the description um, from the site, 70 quid, something like that, uh, 80 delivered. Um, very very impressed with this, I don't think I'm going to do anything to the electrics at all apart from do the finish to the body perhaps. Um, the nut. It's perfect, it's cut really well, it's the right height, doesn't need anything doing to it. It stays in tune pretty well. The tuners work pretty good, they are a little bit lumpy, but yeah. They do the job, it's fine. Electrics are smooth, um, tone pot is smooth, switch is nice and tight. It does everything you want it to do. Um, I'm sure that once I've done a setup on it, and got it how I like it, it's going to be even better. But before I come to my final conclusion, I'm going to put it through its paces and play it how I would play it.
um, as promised, uh, there is a link in the description you can go where you can go straight to the page. But to give you a rundown of what this kit is made of, it is a complete DIY DIY do-it-yourself kit. It is a bolt-on neck, solid wood body, wood colour may vary. Neck, it doesn't say what wood it is, but it's a solid wood, probably basswood or something like that. Uh, neck is maple, fretboard is amaranth. Uh, dot inlays, double action truss rod, neck profile is a C, 22 frets, 350mm radius. Um, yeah, it did feel, it does feel a little wider than some of my other guitars, but it's, it's comfy. Scale is 648mm, nut width is 42mm. Truss rod, it's got a truss rod, yeah. Pickups, two single coils, one volume knob, one tone knob, three-way toggle switch, chrome hardware, die-cast machine heads, strings are nines to 42, and the finish is natural. A certain amount of craftsmanship is required. Not really. You're screwing a few screws in. It's not hard at all. Anybody can do it. Um, and that's about it, really. <laughs> yep, that's it. So you can uh, get information on that. It is £67.67. .67, pence, and there is a €10 Euro shipping cost. It was about £8. My first impressions are... Mm -mm -mm. All very good so far. I'm really liking this guitar. Um, I'm actually preferring over the strats um, so far. Um, what do you think I should do with it? Should I get the blowtorch on it? Shall I do a spray finish on it? So I, shall I do a dye finish on it? Bearing in mind it is heavily sealed as it is, so I'm going to have to do a lot of sanding and a lot of stripping down to get the sealer out of there. Um, I'm quite liking the idea of the blowtorch because I do like getting the blowtorch out because I'm a little bit of a pyromaniac. No, not really. But I do like enjoy doing the uh, blowtorch finishes. I always think they look pretty cool. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. So, if you like this kind of video, then please do like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out in a big way. Uh, don't forget to click the little dingy, dingy, dongy, dingy, dong, dang, dingy, 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 dingy thing. Um, because uh, then you will get a notification whenever I upload a video, which is always good news, right? Um, so, there's only one more thing left to say. And that is... Peace. Till next time. One, two, three, four. If you like my YouTube show, hit like and comment and get involved. If you dig my vibe, then hit subscribe and never miss an episode of my YouTube show. Till next time.